With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the question here we have is prove that the any four vertices of a regular pentagon are concyclic. This is what I have to prove that the any four vertices of a regular pentagon are what? Concyclic. It means that lie on the same circle. Okay, so look, uh, if I write the solution here, you guys can clearly see this figure. This is my regular pentagon, right? We know that this regular pentagon, if I made two diagonals here, which one? First one is what? BD, right? This one. And the other one is I have it, CV. If I join these two uh, sides or if I consider these four points, right? Uh, it's given in the question that I have to prove any four vertices of a regular triangle again. So I'm using these four points B, C, D and E, right? So now if I clearly look in the figure, right? Suppose I have two triangles, triangle B, C, D and triangle C, E, D, right? So suppose now I have in triangle B, C, D first and triangle C, D. What I'm going to do? I'm going to check the congruence here in the triangle. Okay, so in triangle BCD, we can clearly see that this BC is equal to what? ED, right? Because we know that in a regular pentagon, these sides are what? Equal, so BC equals to what? ED. So I can also write here, BC is equal to what? My ED, right? So I can also write here the reason, which is what? Sides of a regular pentagon. Sides of my regular pentagon, okay? So now, other thing. If I look at the other thing now, we can see that uh, in these two triangles, BCD and ECD, Clearly, we can see that CD is my common line segment. So, this is also a part of this congruency. CD equals to what? CD. Also, I can here say that common line segment, right? Now, if I look in this pentagon figure again, so we can also see that my angle BCD, this angle, angle BCD equals to what? Angle of EDC because in a regular pentagon, every angle is what? Equals to the other angle. So, I can say that in this triangle, angle B, C, D is equal to what? Angle E, D, C. Right. So, also if these three properties are there, so it means that the triangle is congruent. Right. So, it means that triangle, which triangle? My triangle B, C, D is what? Congruent to triangle C, E, D. Right. If these two triangles are congruent, then I can say that, then I can write here that it implies, okay. So, suppose this part, this part is my angle number one. Angle CBD is my angle number 1 and the angle CED of this triangle ECD is what? Angle number 2. So I can say that here now. This implies that my angle number 1 is equal to what? Angle number 2. Right. Due to congruency as these two triangles are what? Congruent triangles I have just proved. So now if these angle 1 and angle 2 are equal. So I can say that. Now I can write my statement here clearly. Which says since. Since. What? Since my angle 1 is equal to what? Angle number 2. Right. So, and also they are what? They are made by common tangents which are CD. Right. They are made through what? Common tangents. I can also write here are made by what? Are made by my common tangent or common line segment. Sorry, not tangent. Common line segment. What? CD. Right. So, we can say that now we can say that B, C, D and E, then there should be a common different these points. B, C, D are what my concyclic, B, C, D are what concyclic points. Okay. It means that these four points are just, I just proved these two points as concyclic. So in the case when angle 1 equals what angle, why they are concyclic? Because there is a theorem which says that if the segment joining two points A and B and subtends equal angles at the two other points C and D on the same side of AB, then the four points are what concyclic, right? And here the same thing happens. If, I, if you guys can see in the figure, the line segment it was C and D. It is basically having having what two angles, angle 1 and angle 2 here, right? Which are what equals to each other, subtend equal angles at the other two points, which are B and E here, I have in the case, right? And that's why there we can prove that B, C, D and what are concyclic points. Okay. So also I can see that. Now also I can say that here. Hence, hence what exactly we can prove it for any four sides of triangle. Hence we can prove it. Prove this thing for what? Prove it for any four sides of pentagon. Of any four sides of pentagon or we can say regular pentagon. Right. I can write here for four sides of penta gun okay so this is the proof this is what we are looking for for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today